Ikaw ba ay magka-travel back to the Philippines or from the Philippines you'll be departing with your family member? Now, let us get to know paano ba mapapadali ang pagre-register niyo online by using Add Member para sa e-travel online registration. Watch this video and find out how. Hi travelers, welcome back to another episode of Jamie Aris Talk TV kung saan kayo po ay aking tuturuan paano ba mag-add member sa e-travel online registration para mas mapabilis na po ang pagkukumpleto ninyo nitong mandatory online registration form for you and your family. And at the same time, ano yung limitation din nitong system na ito. So, we will just take a look ano ba itong e-travel na ito at ang pag-add member. Sino ang pwedeng mag-add member? Kailan? Kailangan kompletuhin at paano ba yung step-by-step -step process ng pag-register for yourself at pag-add member? Kailan ba ito ginagawa? Anong mauuna? mag kung Registration for yourself o para sa pamilya mo muna. Yan po ang ating sasagutin sa ating video ngayon. You are watching Jamie Aris Talk TV at iniimbitahan ko po kayo na mag-subscribe na po sa ating channel if you have not yet subscribed or if you have not yet followed my social media like TikTok and FB page. Nang sa gayon, anytime may bago po tayong videos about travel lifestyle, career, business, at buhay OFW, kayo po'y maa-update. So, let us start. Tandaan po ninyo, pag sinabi nating e-travel, ito po yung online registration form na kinakailangan lahat po ng travelers na parating sa Pilipinas or entering the Philippines na for e-travel arrival, who ang kailangan mag-kompleto nito. So, Philippine passport holders at foreign passport holders po ito, age from bata, Hanggang elderly. So, dito natin ngayon, mapapadali ang the way you actually register for your family. Lalo na kung marami kayo na magta-travel pa balik ng Pilipinas. So, pareho lang po yan. So, kung sakasakaling e-travel arrival, pwede po kayo mag-register 72 hours or 3 days before your arrival. At kung yung departure naman po, 3 days or 72 hours within po, ha? Your departure from the Philippines. Now, ano po ba ang kailangan yung mga dokumento na i-prepare? Prepare nyo lang po yung pasaporte at flight details ninyo para lang accurate po ang ating pagkukompleto nito. Usually, it only takes us per person within 10 to 20 minutes depende gano'ng kabilis ang internet at looking forward, wala pong uh, kumbaga, technical glitch na ma-encounter sa system itself. Now, let us just take a look. Uh, katulad po ng sabi ko, dalawang klase po ang e-travel. Meron po tayong e-travel arrival. Ito po ay may anim na steps kapag magkukompleto kayo. And then kung ito po ay e-travel departure, meron po itong four steps. So just imagine kung ang dami nyo po sa pamilya na magda-travel. Lalo na kung marami po kayong mga accompanying na meron po kayong mga ina-accompany na mga bata. So, kinakailangan parents and guardians, you have to be the one to complete this. Okay, so let us take a look how to add members. So, number one, ang una po natin gagawin ay to ensure na you will log in on the official website ng etravel.gov.ph, hindi application, kung hindi ito po ay website. Libre ito. Regardless how many pa kayong pamilya na magta-travel, please beware at mag-ingat sa mga fraudulent website na humihingi ng payment or card details ninyo huwag po nating ibibigay. Please take a look also sa, drop, uh, sa description box natin ang link na ito para madali nyo po ma-access or simply type this in the internet search engine. Now, once you actually... Click the link or kaya pumunta na po kayo sa website na ito. Makikita nyo po yung pinaka front page which is the Philippine One-Stop Electronic Travel Declaration System. So, ang una nyo kailangan gawin magulang or guardian is complete your own e-travel registration and get your QR code. Kapag nakuha nyo yung QR code, wag po muna agad kayo mag-exit kasi doon sa QR code just below, nandoon yung add 
member. Papakita ko yan sa inyo. Now, tandaan po ninyo, kung ang kinukompleto nyo ay e-travel arrival, meron po itong anim na steps. At kung ang kinukompleto nyo naman ay yung e-travel departure, meron itong apat na steps. So, just imagine po, di ba, kung napakadami nyo bilang pamilya at marami ang mga minors na magta-travel with you. So, para ma-maximize ninyo, ang inyong time in completing this, so I'll be sharing to you how do we do the ad travel. Pero at the end of the video, i-discuss ko rin po yung limitations ha. Kasi sino ba ang pwede lang mag-ad travel? Pwede po ba ang magkaibang pasaporte? Halimbawa yung isa Philippine passport holder, yung isa foreign passport holder because sometimes it happens, right? So, mamaya, sagutin po natin yung katanungan na yan. For this example po, ang gamitin po natin yung e-travel arrival. So, ito yung katanungan ni Amy sa atin. Sabi niya, Hello, ma'am, Jamie Iris. Kamusta po? Magandang buhay. Pwede po mag-ask ng e-travel guide po regarding adding member. Pwede po ba silang i-add kung ang father and child are foreign passport holder pero ang mother is still Philippine uh, passport holder pa rin po. Sana mabasa niyo po. God bless. So, as we begin, ang sagot natin dyan ay only a Philippine passport holder can add member who also are Philippine passport holders. Kung foreign passport holders ang gustong i-add na kapamilya, yan ay hindi possible. For example, for a foreign passport holder, for example, yung dito, father. So, yung father, kapag ginawan mo halimbawa, Amy, ng uh, e-travel registration, pwede mong i-add member yung bata na foreign passport holder. Pero ikaw, yung sayo, you create it separately. A reason for this is, papakita ko mamaya, hindi na kasi nagkuproceed sa phone page or yung initial registration ng e-travel. Ito ay nagja-jump na agad sa step number one. Para mas malinaw, i-illustrate ko yan sa inyong lahat so that you will understand. Again, uh, later on, who knows, they might change this or may update this. But for the meantime, yun po yung limitation ng system. Ang e-travel arrival po or kaya yung e-travel departure, makaiba lang sila sa number ng step, pero similar po yung mga hakbang sa kanila. Meron po tinatawag na initial registration. So, kailangan para makapag-add member ka, tapusin mo muna iyan. And then, tatapusin mo din yung six steps sa e-travel arrival. Please watch that from my other video so that at at least, uh, you will see the step-by-step -step process on how to complete that. And then, para makapag-add member ka, so dapat tapos mo yung initial registration, yung six steps, and of course, nakuha mo na yung QR code, yung tatlong steps na ito. Now, so tatlong hakbang na ito. Tingnan mo ngayon, dito sa QR code, so wag mo agad i-exit pag nakita mo doon sa mismong page yung iyong QR code. So, stay on the page and then, doon sa pinaka-bottom right ng QR code, makikita mo add member. So, dyan sa e-travel arrival, kulay green ang QR code natin. So, click mo yung add member. Pagka-click mo na itong add member, automatically, hindi na po kayo dadalhin dito sa initial page na ito, which is yung tatanungin kung Philippine passport holder ka ba or foreign passport holder ka. So, ito, hindi na ito tatanungin. Tatanungin lang ito kapag ikaw yung unang nag-register at hindi ka pa nag -add. So, ang nilagay mo dyan, Philippine passport holder. Ngayon, kapag nag-add member, pupunta agad ito dito sa step number one, which will be the personal profile. So, kaya, sinabi ko kanina kung sakasakaling ikaw ay Filipino pass, or ikaw ay Filipino at Philippine passport holder ka at uh, Amy, kanina yung tanong mo, yung iyong foreign, uh, kumbaga foreign passport holder na asawa at foreign passport holder na anak, hindi mo sila pwedeng i-add uh, member kasi nga lang baka magka-discrepancy kasi dahil ang ad member, di diretso agad dito. So, hindi na siya nagtanong kung anong klaseng passport holder. in niya na Philippine passport holder din yung i ad member mo kasi nga kapamilya. But then again, iba-iba nga ang situation. Just like in your situation, Amy. So, once again, travelers, once you click that ad member, 
automatically dito na po tayo agad sa step number 1. It means that lahat ng in-input po, pakita ko lamang, lahat ng in-input ninyo as the parent or guardian initially sa inyong own registration, like uh, kung anong klaseng passport holder, travel type, transportation type, date of arrival, and then, yung email address, lahat po yun, ika-capture na, ibig sabihin, the same information will be captured for this member that you have added. Okay, reminder to all parents who will be adding members, since ito lang po yung page na kukumpletuhin ninyo. Uh, Kung baga makakatipid na kayo ng oras, dahil sa anim na steps, step number one lang ang kukumpletuhin ninyo. At sabi dito to all travelers, please ensure na lahat ng information that you will provide must be exactly the same as the passport details of the traveler or the minor that you will be traveling with so that at least walang problema sa accuracy at hindi magkakaproblema sa journey po ninyo in different airports hanggang makarating sa Pilipinas. So, first name, last name, middle name at kung may suffix, pakilagay lang po, passport number, gender din ng traveler or ng minor. Pwede din po naman ng elderly. And then, itatanong po yung citizenship, country of birth, and then mobile number. So, yung mobile number, pwede na po yung mobile number ninyo ang gamitin. And once you're done, everyone, with this, simply click next. At once you click next, makikita po natin yung step number two, completely filled out na po. It, it, it means that... Kung ano po yung information na nilagay nyo sa step number 2 sa permanent address niyo since it's a family member you're adding, so the system is capturing all the information that you have included sa inyong own registration form. So, click nyo lang po yung next, ganun kabilis, hindi na kayo magta-type ulit. And then, sa travel details, same din po kasi you'll be traveling in the same airlines, okay? Same country of origin, same country of destination, airlines, purpose, and even the flight number. So, wala na kayong i-add dito. Click nyo lang po yung next kasi automatically filled na rin ito ng system. And then, step number four, destination upon arrival in the Philippines. So, kung ang pinili nyo po kayo in your own registration ay residence, automatically filled na rin po yan para doon sa inyong inad na member. Wala na kayong idadagdag. So, just click next. And step number five, health declaration. Uh, malamang po, similar din po kayo dyan. Wala na kayong idadagdag unless the person actually had been sick in the past 30 days. Then, you have to declare yes. Kung hindi naman, then click next na lang po. And that's how fast it is. So, kompleto nyo na agad yung step number five. And last but not the least, check all the information that you have inputted for step number six. So, summary of steps number one hanggang step number five. At pagdating ng dulo, ang step number five, click submit. At once you submitted this, so successful submission of registration. At makakakuha po kayo ng QR code ng member na inad po ninyo. And make sure that you screenshot this or i-download nyo sa phone ninyo. At make sure na check nyo rin po yung email ninyo uh, nang sa gayon ay makita ninyo kung andun yung backup. Pero wag nyo kalimutan i-screenshot in case madelay po yung pagsisend ng email ng inyong added member. And that's it mga kabayan. So napakadali lamang po mag-add member. All you simply have to do is complete first your own registration for e-travel, yung initial registration, yung six steps, and then get the QR code. And after that, let's simply add a member. Now, pagkatapos nyo mag-add member, nakakuha na kayo ng QR code, pwede pa po ba kayo mag-add ng more members? Yes, basta same passport type po, mga kabayan. Kung Philippine passport holder kayo, yung i-add yung family member ay Philippine passport holder. Yes, you may use this button. Ayan. So, that's how easy it is, mga kabayan. So, kung may katanungan pa kayo on how to add members sa e-travel, please just let me know. So, once again, ako po si Jamie Iris, ang inyong Talk TV show host na nagsasabi, stay safe, stay healthy, and looking forward that you'll enjoy your vacation sa Pilipinas at God bless you sa mga babalik na po sa inyo-inyong mga bansang pinagtatabahuhan. 
laging pagkatandaan, saan man tayong dako ng mundo, taas noo. Tayo'y mga Filipino. God bless you!